Beginner Cross Stitch with Ms. Nikki. In your kit, you will have the following supplies. A canvas with a printed design, an embroidery hoop, colored thread, a blunt end needle, a needle threader, and a backpack clip. Your first step will be to choose which color thread you're going to start with, unravel it from the spool, and then cut a length that will be easy to work with. Next, you will split your thread in half. Divide your thread into two sections, three strands for each section, and then slowly pull it apart so when you're finished, you have two separate strands. Next, you will thread your needle following the directions in the picture below. First, get the metal part of the threader through the eye of the needle. Then, put the thread through the threader. Next, you will pull the needle off the end of the threader. And then lastly, you will take your thread off of the threader. This illustration shows you how to make your stitches. Starting in the position that's numbered one, take your needle from behind the fabric and pull it out the front. You then take your needle and put it in the number two position going into the fabric. Number three, you are coming from the back, pulling your needle out of the fabric, and then going into position four where you will put your needle back into the fabric. Using my design as an example, here I started my first stitch from the back of the canvas and then I'm pulling my needle out the front. Next, I place my needle in position two as shown and pull the thread through the back of the fabric. Next, place your needle in position three as shown and pull your thread through to the front of the fabric. Next, place your needle in position four as shown in the picture and pull the thread through to the back of the fabric. You will now have a stitch in the shape of an X and your needle will be behind your canvas. Repeat making these X's or cross stitches in the other squares according to your pattern. This shows a different way of making your stitches. Here you take your needle from behind the fabric going out at number one, in number two, again from the back out at number three, in at number four until you finish the stitches in your row. You then go the opposite direction as shown in the bottom picture, coming from the back again, going out at number one, in at number two, until you finish all the stitches in your row, making X's along the way. If you reach the end of a thread, flip your canvas over and put your needle through the back of a stitch or two to secure it. You could also take the needle off of your thread, separate the strands at the end, and tie them into a knot to secure it. Then re-thread your needle, and continue making stitches until you have finished that color. Repeat this for every color in your project. When you have finished all of your colors, you are ready to put your project in the embroidery hoop. Loosen the screw at the top until the center ring pops out. This may be easier for you to do if you leave the screw in and loosen it rather than take it out completely. Next, center your image in the hoop. Slide the center ring back into place, holding the canvas between the hoops. Then tighten the screw. Once your fabric is stretched tight and your image is in the position that you'd like it, cut the extra fabric from the back of your project. Your cross stitch project is now ready to display. If you'd like to attach it to a bag or backpack, take the ring from the clip and attach it to the screw at the top of the embroidery hoop. Thank you, and happy crafting.